welcome to Right On with John Crane. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting with my friend here. Uh, let's see. Th those of you that know me well know that Jeremiah Johnson is one of my all time uh, favorite movies. And um, so I, I've been thinking for a long time that I wanted to make a hat. Uh, just like Jeremiah Johnson has in the movie, and the hat is made out of a bear head. And uh, it's a pretty cool hat, and, uh, uh, you know, just a great movie. So anyway, I got on the hunt looking for a bear skin, bear head that I could turn into a bear head hat. And uh, hence, I got my uh, buddy here. Uh, so today's video is about a road trip that I took out to Eastern Washington. I live over uh, Western Washington and uh, I headed over uh, through the passes and uh, through Washington out to Kennewick. And uh, I picked up this bear out there that I found and um, uh, the skin's a little tattered, but that's perfect because uh, I'm gonna be making this uh, into a hat now. So uh, the road trip that I took, uh, ended up uh, being pretty good. After I left picking up uh, the bear skin there, I got looking around and uh, I saw a machine shop and I decided to stop in and it turns out to be Lampson uh, International. They're a crane manufacturer. And uh, so I knocked on the door there and uh, it was a great time to go in because uh, the virus and all that stuff, there wasn't a lot of people working. There was only one guy in the shop so I went in there, he said I could look around the shop, he gave me a little bit of a tour around, and uh, just an amazing shop and some amazing tools and machinery. So uh, this video is a little bit of a tour of uh, my drive out to Eastern Washington. I pick up the bear, uh, then I go over to Lampson, I visit their machine shop, and then I head over and I visit one of their, the world's largest cranes. Now this crane that, uh, is made by Lampson. I went over to one of their other yards and this crane has a capacity of 3,000 US tons and it's one of the world's largest cranes. It's amazing. So I went over there. I got some footage of that and uh, so this is kind of a fun video. Uh, if you've driven through Washington State or you haven't, uh, this is great. There's some great scenic views. I take uh, lots of video on the way there and back. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's uh, dive into the road trip and, uh, and we'll have some fun. Uh, 
beautiful scenery here and uh, just love dr uh, driving through uh, this part of Washington here up high in the Cascade Mountains and uh, but soon uh, I'll be down in uh, kind of desert territory there heading down to the Columbia River and uh, uh, the guy I'm going to meet is down in Kennewick there and he's got a uh, different bear skins that I'm gonna check out so um, yeah I'm gonna keep at it here on the road and enjoy the scenery All right, after about five hours of driving just through some beautiful country, uh, eastern Washington is just beautiful with all kinds of farms and uh, wine country out there, apples, all kinds of produce, and just a beautiful area, uh, some nice horses, cows. And uh, so finally here I'm arriving at Robert's place and uh, Robert is the guy here who's uh, selling me uh, the bear skins. And uh, what a, a really nice guy. Couldn't have been nicer. And I came upon his place and I could see uh, that he's a collector of all kinds of things. He's got all kinds of gas signs up there, mobile. He's got the Pegasus back there and uh, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I don't know, he had a spread there, I don't know, 15, 20 acres or so. And uh, so he sold me this uh, great bear skin here. And uh, I was hoping he's going to have a few more. He said he couldn't find uh, the other skins that he had. Uh, he said he had a few other black bear skins, but this was great. This is what I was after. Uh, and uh, this skin uh, was perfect for what I was going to do. And then uh, he was showing me uh, some of the ducks that live on his property there. And uh, yeah, just an overall uh, cool experience out there talking with him. And uh, so anyway, um, after I got the skin there, I, I headed out and uh, got back on the road. And um, as soon as I got back on the road, I... Uh, I noticed a, uh, a train coming by, and um, uh, this train cruising by, I was like, oh man, yeah, I can get some uh, footage of this train here. It's a uh, Burlington Northern uh, Santa Fe there, 
and uh, you know, my good friend Dan Blyde, he works for the railroad back in New Jersey, and I don't know, I'm always intrigued about trains and that kind of thing, so I thought I'd get some footage of, uh, of this train here. So um, I pulled over and, um, and checked this train out and uh, got some footage of it uh, coming through. This train was uh, stopped here, and uh, I think it was letting this other train come by. And uh, ah, it's just cool to check out the trains. After uh, checking out the train there for a bit, I uh, drove out of there and I came across uh, this sign right here for custom welding. And I was like, huh, I should uh, check this place out. So I pulled in and it was in the midst of like an industrial area. And I started driving around there. And then I came across uh, this sign for a machine shop. I was like, huh, you know, I should go in there and uh, check this out. So. I, I walked through the door there and gave a wave, and then I met this guy here, Larry, who uh, couldn't have been a nicer guy, and uh, asked if I could come in and you know check out some of the machines. And this shop was just full of some crazy big machines, some vertical turret lathes and all kinds of stuff. And uh, Larry was in here working on this uh, horizontal uh, boring machine here, and he was um, working on a piece here for a crane. And it turns out that uh, this is Lamps and Crane, and they are a manufacturer for some of the world's largest cranes. So, you know, what a cool shop to go in and, uh, and check out. Uh, here's one of their huge cranes here. Uh, and uh, so talking with Larry, Larry is like, uh, hey, you know, we're in the small shop. Let's go check out the big shop. And uh, it turns out, you know, I go over and here's this vertical turret lathe that Larry's standing next to here. And I don't know what the diameter of that is. I don't know if it's like a 15-foot uh, vertical turret lathe there. And, uh, but just crazy big. And, you know, what a nice shop. And uh, here's another uh, horizontal uh, boring machine right there. And then... Um, you know, they had a few of those horizontal boring, boring machines. Here's another one right here. And then uh, right in front of this, boy, they had a stack. Uh, check out this. This is a, a right angle plate right there. And then those right there are parallel blocks. Check out the size of those. You know, you think you got some parallel blocks for your bridge port there. Uh, those things are huge. Uh, then we hit it back to the machine shop where Larry was working and I did uh, just a little walk around tour here. All right, out in this machine shop here in Kennewick. All right, got this huge Amada saw. Hard to show the scale of all these things because they're just huge. lineup of lanes here. The Kingston lane. A few of these Kingston lanes here. Tooling. 
Now there's a big old monarch over there. Let's go check that out. Yeah, it must be a 30, 36 inch four jaw chuck there. Giant. Put my hand on there for scale. Video and Larry over here. Larry, what are you working on again? This crane part for a minute. Manaqua? Doing some boring on this piece. All right. drill press Norton surface grinder All right here's a bridge part two horsepower here's a big old LeBlanc lathe here Here's a shaper here. Eberhardt. Here's another bridge port here.
All right. Well, what a, a great tour there of the lamps and shop there. Uh, Larry uh, couldn't have been a nicer guy there to just let me come in, take a look around, and uh, show me all the things that uh, he did. And what an amazing collection of uh, machinery there and some huge machines. But, you know, I guess they need those kinds of machines there if they're building the uh, largest cranes in the world. Uh, so talking to Larry there and uh, a couple of the other guys there that popped out of the office and they were like, ah, you, you know, after checking our, our machine shop here, you should go over um, to one of our other yards and check out uh, one of the cranes we got, or a few of the cranes we got. And uh, so I headed over the bridge here into Pasco, and then headed through some, uh, an old industrial area here, and uh, they have a yard there. And in that yard there, they have this crane right here. And this crane is just gigantic. Now this is a uh, Lampson Transi Lift LTL 3000. And uh, this particular crane right here has the capacity of 3,000 U.S. tons. Now that is just uh, amazingly huge and uh, it's just giant, just massive uh, standing next to this thing. And um, so while I was standing there, I, I shot a little video and uh, I was talking about it right here. All right, I'm out in Pasco, Washington here, and I just visited Lampson Hitachi and uh, checked out their machine shop. They gave me a nice tour of that. And now I'm over checking out, uh, this is one of the largest cranes in the world. I thought it was fitting that uh, John Crane here is checking out uh, one of the largest cranes here. This thing is just enormous. You can see there's some uh, smaller cranes underneath that are, and those are look gigantic when you're up next to them. And uh, you look close, there's like a rail car right there. Look how small that looks uh, next to this crane. And uh, they got a whole yard here just full of all kinds of cranes and crane parts. All right, well, I really had a great time on this road trip, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun going over there, checking out Robert, and uh, picking up that bear skin from him, and then, uh, yeah, that was a nice surprise, going over to the Lampson uh, machine shop there, and then going over and checking out that huge crane, and uh, yeah, what a nice uh, treat for myself, and uh, just a great treat just driving around uh, Washington, what a... A beautiful state uh, you know all the different uh, scenery here you got the mountains and the desert and the farmland and uh, just an amazing place uh, to live and hang out so uh, yeah I hope you uh, like this video here I had a lot of fun making it uh, yeah if you could uh, please uh, like and subscribe to it and uh, leave a comment tell me what you're thinking about it and uh, just another side note here uh, the music that I'm playing during uh, some of these videos is by Ty Burho, and uh, he's an amazing musician. Uh, go over to his website and uh, check him out, maybe buy some of his music. Um, and uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, the rest of this, I'll be playing some music from him. And uh, just another note uh, at the end here, I'm putting up a picture of uh, my dad there. and. Uh, when I got back home, uh, he wanted to check out that bear skin, and so I got a picture of him uh, with the bear there at the end. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, hope you guys are great. All right, take care.